Using flywheels as an alternative to chemical battery storage is an idea that seems to resurface every couple of years at the moment. But in almost every case, nothing comes of their implementation, and even today many are quick to talk down any new progress in this area. They're simply too expensive, too lacking in long duration capacity, and too complex to compete with ever cheaper lithium ion battery technology. Now let's get this straight, flywheels are really nothing new. But as of yet, flywheels have only really seen uses in short duration, high energy applications, like backup for hospitals and data centers, and in systems where a higher rate of energy needs to be delivered than that can be produced by the source. But a couple of weeks ago, I stumbled across a company called Taurus, who are doing some pretty interesting stuff in the flywheel space. And what surprised me in particular is their focus on flywheel storage in home renewable energy generation, something I haven't heard of any other company doing. They're not just a hopeful startup either, and have already installed their technology in 355 households across Utah as of October last year. We'll be taking a deeper dive into their technology in this video. And so I guess the question to start with is, why hasn't this been done already? Surely if flywheels were actually a viable form of energy storage, we'd have already done it by now. And so what makes Taurus think their business is one that is actually viable? The interesting thing here is that Taurus's hardware isn't something totally new, and in fact resembles a design philosophy that has been trialed by many before. Their unit consists of a high strength steel rotor weighing over half a metric ton that is suspended on magnetic bearings and housed inside a vacuum chamber. A flywheel's energy is stored as rotational kinetic energy, and so the longer and the faster we can spin it, the more energy we can store. The last fundamental component here is a motor generator unit, which spins up the flywheel when a user wants to store energy, and then decelerates the flywheel to generate electricity during discharge. Now Taurus puts the choice of this form of energy storage, a kinetic battery, down to four key advantages over traditional chemical batteries. First, Taurus's flywheel can be produced using 95% recyclable materials. As the founder puts it, the product is only mined once and can be effectively recycled at the end of its life, giving it unmatched sustainability credentials. A flywheel will also last longer than a typical battery and doesn't suffer the same degradation issues over time as are common with lithium ion batteries. Taurus say their flywheel still maintains a 100% energy retention after 10 years and will last 25. Third, flywheels have a particular advantage in extreme environments as they are insensitive to high or low temperatures. Taurus's founder Nate Walkinshaw founded the company after unsuccessfully trying to store the hydropower produced on his tree farm in batteries that couldn't cope with Utah's extreme temperatures. His flywheel operates between minus 29 to 60 degrees Celsius, so it can be stored outside, omitting the need for a garage or other indoor space where a chemical battery pack might traditionally have been housed. Finally, despite some limitations in performance which I'll come into in a bit, flywheels do offer one key performance advantage, and that's that they can be rapidly charged and discharged. Taurus's flywheel can discharge its entire 10 kilowatt hour capacity in only 20 to 30 minutes. In the home energy context, this makes them particularly good at profiting from high energy flows when the weather is favorable, and also for EV charging applications where they are able to provide much faster charging rates. Now, as I said, Taurus haven't really done anything radical on the hardware side. They have even chosen to stick with a steel rotor as opposed to the more futuristic composite rotors we have seen today. Instead, I'd argue it's the software that Taurus have designed around their flywheel that makes the product particularly interesting. Sure, flywheels have been around for hundreds of years, but what hasn't been around for that long is automation systems. And Taurus have what they claim to be the smartest, most efficient energy management system around. In the flywheel discussion, this is something that really matters. Even though Taurus's product has quoted round trip efficiencies of up to 88%, it shares the universal problem of self-discharge. 
A flywheel will continuously dissipate some of its energy as it spins, and so the longer you store the energy for, the more inefficient a flywheel becomes. Now the advantage of having advanced control systems then is that they can dynamically charge and discharge the flywheel and adjust its operating point to optimise efficiency and maximise on its storage capabilities. That being said, flywheels do lend themselves well to these frequent charge and discharge cycles, and so Taurus's products can store up to 32 kilowatt hours of energy over a day. Okay then, so what's the catch? Well, there's a couple. First of all, the one that everyone mentions is cost. Flywheels are expensive, especially when you compare them to other technologies like lithium ion batteries. It's unclear how much Taurus's flywheel costs on its own, but the entire system, including solar panels, wiring, and app, costs on average between $35,000 and $50,000. Taurus's flywheel has a rated capacity of 10 kilowatt hours, and for the same capacity chemical battery, you'd be able to find options around the $5,000 mark. It's also unclear how much costs could be driven down going forwards, but there's hope that the EV boom could help bring down the price of motor generator units, which currently account for the greatest costs. The other issue here is that it's going to be really hard to use flywheel technology on its own to achieve complete energy independence. Taurus's design can only run for up to 65 hours without power, during which time it will be continuously self-discharging. Even Taurus themselves market their flywheel for use in conjunction with a backup lithium ion phosphate battery, and their core offering doesn't even include the kinetic battery. It seems to me that where flywheels make more sense then is in these hybrid applications, where they can do the brunt of the short term power management, whilst a chemical battery acts as a long term backup store. That way you also put less stress on the chemical battery from frequent charge cycles and so prolong its life. Flywheels might also make more sense for more niche markets like EV owners and people living in environments with more extreme weather. Now when I was researching this video, it became apparent that Taurus are looking beyond just individual homeowners as well. Their vision involves using their technology to create virtual power plants which would help to decentralise the grid. Instead of just having one big power station in one place, a virtual power plant combines lots of smaller energy sources like home solar and wind power into one large reservoir of electricity. They are great at reducing the cost of energy whilst also stabilising the grid during times of high demand. Last year, the Taurus station became eligible for participation in Rocky Mountain Power's WattSmart battery program. For homeowners, this means they can earn upfront and continuous payments in return for allowing the supplier to draw off their energy stores in times of peak demand. The advantage of this is that it emits the need for so-called peaker plants, essentially emergency power stations that supply power that is typically high in both cost and greenhouse emissions. As we try to move away from centralised power generation though, frequency regulation becomes a bigger problem. Currently, the huge inertia of turbines in steam power plants help to keep the frequency of the grid constant, but if we're talking about decentralised grids, we need other ways to manage this. And so flywheel technology is ideally suited here, due to their ability to be rapidly charged and discharged. I think overall what Taurus have done here is really exciting. Is this the start of a flywheel revolution and the end of the lithium ion battery? Probably not but it does highlight the need to keep an open mind when thinking about the future of energy storage technology. There is no one size fits all solution and realistically the future will rely on a combination of many of these different technologies. As the economy strives to become more circular and our grid less centralized, Taurus are definitely one to keep an eye on. I'm Luke and this was The Upshift.